So Tamas, the, the SAP Cloud Platform is considered to be a very sophisticated technology platform. But what does this really mean for the business? Yeah, indeed, it is very sophisticated. I mean, it's, it's a whole platform with a lot of capabilities, no? uh, a lot of services. Uh, each time uh, you have new services, uh, typically bi-weekly innovations, so it's a really a lot to uh, keep up with that. I think at the moment we have uh, dozens of uh, services, 50, 60 services, constantly growing. So it's hard to understand uh, really what is there, even from a technology point of view. But if you look at from a business point of view, then this platform enables organizations to become more agile, to build on top of that. Uh, the, the vision of intelligent enterprise uh, comes into the picture, how you start with st standard software and you extend your standard software based on your requirements, your business processes, create additions, you integrate with other solutions. So there is a lot of possibilities uh, there. And I mentioned that there are so many services. So from a technical point of view, they are all interesting. From a business point of view, we see clear patterns uh, at, at our customers, at, uh, at SOA people. Uh, probably not surprisingly, uh, because we talk a lot about uh, the importance of experience, we see a lot of usage around experience. Many aspects of that. It starts from things like web shops, building web shops, which are at the right size, so not, uh, not a Ferrari, but, uh, and not something very simple, but uh, the right size for, for our range of customers, mid-sized companies. Mobile applications, which can be used uh, directly by uh, customers or in the, in the B2B chain. Uh, many aspects of, of this experience, and a lot of times, of course, also for, uh, for employees, no? for your own. Uh, and we are talking about in SAP world, we are talking about theory, user experience, everybody recognizes that. The platform is the best place to create the theory user experience. That's, let, let's be clear about that. So there is this big area of uh, user experience, which have been keeping us busy for in, the, in the coming period. And then some of these newer services, I would say, are uh, going fast in terms of popularity. Take Internet of Things, uh, that's a technology which is very advanced and also very available at the same time. So with a very limited effort, we are talking about even a couple of days, it is possible to, uh, to add sensors to, to your machines, take for example a manufacturing scenario or a logistics scenario uh, for uh, transportation, uh, it's very doable, very achievable to start collecting data and analyzing that. It's also a service uh, on the cloud platform and having it directly integrated in your, in your core backend systems. So what we see that a lot of times customers start with, uh, with an experience aspect and then they grow and additionally add more uh, services. Of course, at some point you start to collect each time more data, then you are getting into uh, to what is my data storage, what is my data management, what is my analysis, and then you go, and that's the agility. You don't have to start with a big picture, you start from an angle which is the most relevant for you, from a business priority point of view, and you know that you can grow on the same platform. I fully agree with you, Thomas, on this point. Uh, allow me just to make it also clear for the top leaders. Uh, because nowadays uh, CEOs and C-levels in general uh, are concerned by three main topics, I believe so. The first one is focus, the second one is visibility, and the third one is agility. The three combined will allow the companies to outperform. But let us see what do we mean by focus. By focus we mean we need to have the right focus on whatever activity we deliver within the company. Interaction with our employees, interaction with our suppliers, interaction with our customers. This is the focus. We all dream to have the right focus at the right moment with the right people. To do that, you need to have data and you need to have the experience. But the data we are talking about is not only normal data, operational data. could be also considered from the outside world that we call today the experience data. Therefore, you need to capture this data which means you need to be connected internally and externally. How to do that? You need to have something strong and agile at the same time. And this is what the platform is about, allowing agility for a company to achieve some strategic objectives. And of course, in between, it's a matter of just being able to execute in a certain way. And each company is uh, sovereign enough to deliver the way 
they believe appropriate to execute their businesses. And the focus with data and experience will simply allow the companies and the business owners and business leaders to get the visibility. We all dream as leaders to have the right visibility on our business, real time, what is going on. If I need to have or to analyze the performance of my production, with one click I need to have the right visibility to do what? To take the right decisions. I need to have the same with my HR department to see how my headcount is evolving, how my talent is evolving. Again, to take the right decisions, to manage my suppliers, my customers, and, 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 and. It's an endless list. But we don't want to do this the way we did this before, which means implementing, engaging projects that will last for years and years, and when you will get the outcome, then it's already late. Therefore, the agility joins the equation. Agility means also speed to execute, having something quick to implement, quick to serve, and quick to get the feedback. Then we can increment. Thomas was talking about the minimum uh, valuable product or uh, something like that, just to enable something that we could push to the market. To do what? To get the interaction. This interaction is data itself. But this interaction that will be a synonym of data, you get it through an experience, and then it's an endless loop. And therefore, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot, I'm repeating myself, you cannot achieve that without having this fantastic platform that most of the people will look at it as only an environment of development. It's a set of microservices. IoT is one example, machine learning is the other one, etc., etc. And up to each company, depending on their size, on their focus, on their industry, to leverage on the right capabilities and services that will serve their businesses. So I'm pretty convinced that without the platform, without subcloud platform, talking about SAP customers, they cannot simply achieve the target if they are willing to move from doing the digital into becoming digital.